we're pretty sure the number one Sean Payton fan in all of Chicagoland, his older sister, Patrice. This is my favorite picture of Sean um, at, the, um, at the dome because it, to me it looks like he's, he's, first of all, that smile shows that he's genuinely happy and the crowd is obviously going crazy. And uh, we're blowing this up and we're going to uh, send him one. Coach Payton went to high school in the Chicago area, still considers it home. His sister lives in the suburban, uh, uh, the Chicago suburb of Skokie. She and her daughter, Bridget Shaw, busy dealing with lots of attention this week and planning a big party on Saturday night. They're also making up banners, signs to take into the soldier field during Sunday's game. Patrice is one very fired up converted Saints fan. It wasn't until Wednesday when everybody started calling then and everybody said, can we come in? And we just got our, put our Christmas tree down this morning because we haven't had time. You thought about this possibility, I'm sure, that, that this would happen, that it could be as it Bears, got, Saints. Right, as, it got, it, as the team progressed, yes, but at the beginning, I mean, who would have known? Coach of the Year, um, you know, Superdome and, you know, Super Bowl? Did you see this uh, growing up? This uh, potential for, uh, you know, greatness is a word that's used pretty liberally, but for greatness. I only knew he had the wonderful leadership skills that he has, and uh, he's a great people person. And he can go into a crowd of people and tell a story and have the entire crowd just following his every word. So we knew that, yes, he had that, that special it factor. Does he take it all in stride he's as he very humble. that he does? He's, he's very humble. He, he looks at it as if, you know, we work hard and, you, you know, we've got the team together and everybody's on the same page. And, and I like to see that, that he's got a great respect for his players and his players seem to have the same for him. So what's your prediction for this, sis? Oh, <laughs> New Orleans, all the way. <laughs> all the way. Not your average football player's wife, not even close, because while her husband wears a Saints football jersey, she answers to coach. Get to your spots. Go ahead, get to your spots. Hurry up. Danielle Lewis doesn't play well unless it's game time. No, just wait, and then I'll give you the opportunity to do everything. She's head coach for the girls' basketball team at McDonough 35. Our main goal is to try to win a state championship this year. Championships are big right now in her home. As Danielle teaches PE, her husband focuses on his own anatomy. Yep, she's married to New Orleans native Michael Lewis. As part of the Saints kickoff and punt team, Michael Lewis is catching his dream. It has always been in his blood. I'm in just excited period because, like I said, this is the first time the Saints have ever played in an NFC championship, so this is just good to be a part of it. Ask her about the cold and possible snow Michael and his teammates are likely to face in Soldier Field, then the coach in her comes out. But it shouldn't be a factor because you are there for one purpose, and that's to play a football game. If it's one degrees or 101 degrees. You're there to play a football game. Are there things you no, do? No, no, we just, it's just really laid back in the household. It's, we really don't have any rituals. The path Michael Lewis took to become a Saints player, well, it's quite a story in itself. You know, everybody knows me as the beer man. You know, I drove a beer truck, played arena football. Let's people know that you just follow your dream. Who's more nervous about this game, you or him? Um, he's not really nervous, and I'm not really nervous. Her being an athlete, you know, and things like that, just just being hyped for the game or whatever, she, she's worse than me, you know. I mean, me, I can sleep good. You know? Danielle will be there to see every play. The coldest game I've been to was the Tampa game a few years ago, and it was like 50 degrees. <laughs> As for the Super Bowl? It could happen. Spoken just like a wife and coach. Sabrina Wilson, Fox 8 News. Well, having her husband play in the championship game is big enough. On top of that, Danielle Lewis turns 32 on Sunday. So if the Saints win a Super Bowl spot, what a birthday gift. Well, last week before the Eagle game, you said running deuce would be the key to the game. And you were right. Yeah, I tell you, it's Easter you hide the eggs. I thought I'd bring that out before you did. Um, oh, formerly redheaded one, what is it going to be this week as the key to the game, as the Saints take on the Bears? Well, I, I think a lot of the, the obvious things you say before a football game, I, I think overall, Jim, 
if you're going to Soldier Field in Chicago, you got to beat the Bears at their own game with their cover two. I think to be successful against cover two, your quarterbacks got to be accurate. Our quarterback is accurate, so I, I feel good about that matchup. And of course, when they rally to the football, they're usually looking to strip it, and maybe the weather could play a factor in this. The weather can, but I, I'm not as concerned about the just just cold weather. I think sometimes when you have weather or you have snow, footing uh, can be a problem. We talk about turnovers; we've seen it. Uh, the, the footing can be a problem, and that can cause the turnover. So I think the Saints, the Saints w won't be conservative on offense, but I think sometimes with weather, you got to be a little more patient and make sure you, you've got your footing under you. Now, if this footing isn't perfect. Reggie sometimes looks like he's on skates anyway. He's so fast and he's trying to dart everywhere. Does this slow Reggie Bush down more than anybody else? Well, I know he played in California, so he's played in the dome. He's played in good conditions, but I still maintain, like we've said all year, he's a football player and he'll just, Reggie will be fine. And they've got a two-pronged running attack, too, that's pretty good. In fact, their two-pronged running attack leads the NFL as far as a combination in Jones and Benson. Their power running football team. And Devin Hester, six returns for a touchdown this year. That's pretty you, tough you, to beat. You just got to, I mean, the special teams uh, players, coaches, everyone, the whole, the whole team for the Saints, they've got to just recognize that. that that's got to be a point of emphasis. We can't let them beat us on special teams, and especially this guy running back punch. Our coverage from Chicago continues. Our coverage from Chicago continues tomorrow. It'll be and fun. people are making up all kinds of things to get in the uh, Saints <laughs> gold and uh, black and gold spirit. A friend of mine, Wilbur <laughs> Baptiste, is making up these shirts. Meet me at the dome. It's going down. And I definitely think you should be the one to wear these glasses, not me, because it I matches your shirt. You this is going to be a fun weekend. I'm telling <laughs> it's going to be a blast. That's our news for now. Thanks for joining us. Have a wonderful night. We'll see you right here tomorrow. <laughs>